Hello everyone, my name is JBR and welcome back to Pokemon Shining Pearl. Alright, so we're just... I was just running around here. That's an Iron Island. They train their Pokemon there, but work out as well. Alright. Is this going to be a fighting gym? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, wait. An electrician. Tell me what this gym is. Gym leader here uses steel. Mmm. Mm, what is deal week two? I am not entirely sure. All right, water is water resist steel type are resistant to water, or is it the other way around? Huh. Steel is not some. I'm not sure. But let's go. Hmm. Let's do a battle and see. Steel represents an unbending spirit. You never give up. The path to victory reveals itself. Yeah, but. You're not even going to have a steel Pokemon, are you? Okay, Steelix. Cool. Now, if I face the Steelix before, which I don't think I have, this will. I'm gonna figure out what moves I can use. Ah, mm. I think what steel is resistant to water, which makes sense because it's. Ah, he hung on. It's super, super effective. Super effective doesn't sound right. This one, yeah, it never misses. I just need to get a quick hit in. So flying is not very effective. Okay. But he, Steelix might also be rock. I'm not sure if he has a second Titus. Changing effectiveness on that or not. Be a black belt Ricky. Never gave up, but still I failed to win. You're right. Um, any tips? If you give up, well, that's when everything ends for you. Alright, I don't know what I was expecting there. Options for electric are not great. Pokemon Gym isn't only about seeing how tough your Pokemon would be. It's so much deeper than that, just that. It's a test of you as a person. Ah, it's one of those gyms. Is that right, Worker Gary? Oh, Onyx I could have taken on with my... Wait! You don't have an electric Pokemon. Hmm. Interesting. You look like you should have like some Magnemites or something. But no, this that makes more sense. Kinda. move was devastating. Yeah. Whenever I bit your onyx until it shattered. Uh. Huh. So maybe... Maybe it'll be okay to keep Mr. Poppers first. I don't know. Yeah, see, I think he's just to connect. I didn't even know this was here. Ace has the knowledge and experience of battling at high levels. I'll demonstrate what that means to a noob like you. This is the sixth gym. Like, I ain't no noob. Unless you think gyms don't have to be faced in order. Then, that's, then you're the noob. Ace trainer who I've 
completely forgotten your name already. Yeah, aerial ace. Ace that bug. Caesar. I guess keep going. So Steelix is weak to water? Sing a lullaby? What? I guess that kind of makes you an ace. Maybe your trainer has the potential to surpass aces. Yeah, probably. Interesting. Where does this take? Oh, up. Pokemon and people have worked together for many years. Let us show you an example of that history. Yeah, but what Pokemon are you? Worker Geraldo. And an Onyx. You guys don't have many steel Pokemon in this steel. This one's weak to steel. Is that why it's here? I wish that was a one hit knockout because... You know, my health and speed. Speed is key. I guess I could have also brought out one of my fighting Pokemon in Sonic, but I don't think there's really that much of a need. Right. Spectacular loss, but it's still a loss. Yep. That's right. You guys, do you know where I'm supposed to be going, Geraldo? Alright, fighting type or steel. Arr, we're coming out swinging with super heavy judo chops. Alright, so then you have to have a fighting type. Black Belt David. Uh, I don't think your Onyx can judo chop. Pretty sure that's a very common knowledge thing. And again, you're st these neither of these Pokemon can judo chop. Know what this whole gym is thinking. That was a complete thrashing. Yes, yes it was. Whee! Alright. Whee! I feel like I have to be going the right way. Uh, yeah, he's still got tons of health.
That is not steel. Water. Yeah, yes, hit it with Shadow Ball, why not? Oh, it actually got the crit. Like, I understand how challenging this can be if you're if I had a steel melting team, but I don't. I have a well-balanced team. Like every trainer. Uh, nah, keep old moves. This to the Yep, looks like it. Oh wow, I'm almost at 24 hours of playtime. There still has much to learn in place of my son Lork. I Byron will accept your challenge. See, that's a steel type. Like, why wouldn't you guys just use... There's plenty of steel Pokemon. Why is Bronzer... Is Bronzer Ghost? Why is he weak to Shadow Claw? Why is he not weak enough to Shadow Claw? Trick Room. Twisted the dimensions. You can't just twist dimensions. Yeah, Mr. Popper, I'm confused too. Does it make... No, because that attack was still super effective. I thought it might switch the... Effectiveness. Uh, just, Apollyon, you just keep doing it. We're not really suited. Actually, yeah, you're you're super effective. The rude. I was gonna say, he doesn't know like Earthquake. Okay, we're not confused. So as long as Sandstorm doesn't hurt. Oh my god, why did you have to have Sturdy? Why, why does Sandstorm not hurt? What type is Mr. Poppers? You're a steel type. Oh, that makes... I've forgotten this. Oh my god, that's incredible. Uh, I have better potion. Donna. Yes. How much does movement will do? Ah. We're both on the healing side. Except one of us didn't fully heal for reasons. Or does that have to do with speed, the Twisted Dimensions? I think it 
does. So we just need to get a hit in. And Aerial Ace never misses. Ah, he used a Hyper Potion. Jerk. Oh yeah, because he is sturdy. So, him having sturdy, and him using full restores anytime he's in the red. How... Oh, okay. Because he wasn't that sturdy. Okay, Bastiodon. Is that the hippopotamus? Oh, what's this? My last one? That's where we make our final stand. Oh no, it's the evolved shield drawn. Surf is always a good. Ah, so close. Yep, it has sturdy. Citrus Berry. That citrus Berry means he's not going to use a full restore. Which could be a good thing for me. Yeah. Perfect. Sturdy Pokemon defeated. You were strong enough to take down my prized Teal Pokemon. Recognition of that power, I give you this the Mind Badge. Alright, that's six out of eight. Oh, and now I can use Strength, and all Pokemon up to level 70 will obey me. Thank you for giving me your stickers. Flash cannon. If it hits, it may lower target special defense. Alright, cool. I'm glad we just kind of stumbled into the right. What the fuck is all this? I can't. I don't know. I, I guess I seemed I. There was only that one way that would have worked. Hey, that's the mind badge. Good going. You're even tough enough to take a shot at becoming the Pokemon champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so that's not actually going to happen. Anyway, come with me to the library, because I'm a nerd. Alright. Let's first go heal up our Pokemon. Because you never know when Team Galactic's going to strike. Is this the library? Oh, wow. Is there an admissions fee? Please keep quiet while you're on the premises. Is it? Please don't disturb me when I'm reading. I wish um, my Pokemon could be out with me. Because then I could bring in like a Loudred or something. What other Pokemon? Jigglypuff, always singing. Um, 
Books on third floor are easy to read. The ones down here are all too tough for me to understand. Books worn from being read. Well, many people have read them, so... I guess you're dumb. Go back to the third floor, dummy. Hey, yeah, right over here this way. I love that he's... Oh, I thought Lewis was picking, like, really easy to read books. Okay, Gramps, I brought Yeah, your bro, like I said. Now I'm out of here. That's... Okay, I get it. Hm. Everyone's fine. Here, listen up. You may have forgotten already. I study the evolution of Pokemon. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There are some Pokemon that evolve, others that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do immature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures? This is where the three of you come in. There is said to be a mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this. Let me find these. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. Who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give him one? Let's water under the bridge. Lewis hasn't had a Pokedex. God, I hate Lewis so much. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you in becoming a better trainer, too. You can count on me. It will help my Pokedex, too. Yeah, bro. You'll go, too, won't you? Hm. I would have made all of you go, regardless. Now then, there are three lakes. Fortuitously, there are three of you. You should split up and investigate the lakes individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity. Will do. Lewis, I want you to investigate Lake Acuity. Acuity? That would take you almost to Snowpoint City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course, Gramps. You know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hotness. That leaves Jerry of Lake Valor. The lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Has it stopped? Are all of you on home? Let's go aside, but be careful, I'm concerned about the city. I like that here we're hurry along with the booer of aftershocks. I like that Valor is um Is that an earthquake? I didn't imagine it. it is one of the Pokemon Go teams. I swear you'll find many books on myths and legends. That kid downstairs said these are the easy to breed books. I'm feeling wobbly. You know, tremors and my knees still feel like chip. Yeah, that's something I can say I'm glad I never really experienced. Um, the only time I'd ever been in an area when there was an earthquake, apparently it happened when I was mowing. So I didn't notice it at all. I don't know how people said they noticed it when they were driving. Well, maybe that makes more sense. I don't know. Hey, hey, old dude and kids, something big just happened. They're saying that there's a huge explosion at Lake Valor. That must have been huge. Look across the country. Like that. Gramps, I'm going to Lake. I have a bad feeling about this. But that's my lake. Like, you can't go there, Lewis. Hmm, that Lewis can't sit still. Here, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what's taking place. You must find out. But before you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. You'll be okay, won't you, Yerba? You know it. Me and him. Oh wait, well, I guess I should just fly there. How are we doing on time? Ooh! I'm actually gonna have to end this here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, subscribe if you want to come and see more. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye!